जय हिंद एवरी वन आम प्रभात कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पी वाई क्यू अकेडमी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू सम क्विक रिविजन ऑफ ऑल द बायोलॉजी क्वेश्चन विच हैव बीन आस्ड इन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इन वेरियस एग्जाम्स लाइक सी डी एस सी ए पी एफ एज वेल एज एन डी ए सो दिस दिस विल हेल्प यू इन द अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ सी डी एस टू एज वेल एज एन डी ए टू ऑल दो इन फ्यूचर this video can be helpful in many different exams because it contains some standard questions which have been asked in upsc till now so without wasting time let's start this video so first question i took uh, uh, the questions from the latest exams like uh, cds 1 2022 as well as nda 1 and also from the uh, question papers of 2021 exam okay so first question is which of the following statements about living and non living being is are correct so first statement given there which living being can uh, sorry while living being can demonstrate growth and repair non living being cannot this is totally true that uh, a, a living being has that ability to uh, uh, to repair itself and uh, to grow but non living being doesn't okay while living being demonstrate metabolic process non living being doesn't this is also a very simple statement so in this state in this question both the statements are true so answer will be option c next which one of the following plant plastids stores starch oil and protein granules okay so you know that plastid contains different colored or colorless pigments so colored pigments are known as chromoplasts okay sorry and uh, the uh, uncolored that mean colorless pigment are known as leucoplasts okay and out of that that leucoplast you can see leucoplasts are primarily organelles in which material such as starch oils protein granules are stored so here your answer should be option b leucoplast next which one of the following statements about vacuoles is not correct okay so the first statement is in plants there is a large central vacuole that may occupy 90% of total cell volume so yes it is totally true you can see here the central vacuole of some plant cell may occupy 50 to 90% okay then in plant cells vacuole provide turgidity and rigidity this is also true you can see in plant cell vacuole are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity so you can see these are all the statements are taken directly from the ncert in amoeba vacuole have a role in nutrition yes it has a role in nutrition you can see here in single cell organisms like amoeba the food vacuole contains the food item that the amoeba has consumed so this is true and vacuole are absent in animal cells no they are not absent rather they are very small size so you can see here vacuoles are are small sized in animal so this is wrong and our answer should be option b next in aquatic plants large air sacs give them buoyancy effects these sacs are surrounded by which one of the following types of tissues so we know that the uh, the sacs which help them uh for buoyancy that means the, the name of that tissue is nothing but parenchyma okay you can see here in aquatic plants large air cavities are present in parenchyma to help them float such parenchyma type is called parenchyma okay so although the type parenchyma is not given in the option so but parenchyma is a type of parenchyma and parenchyma is present so our answer should be option a but if parenchyma was there so parenchyma should be the most appropriate one but here parenchyma is the answer next which one of the following belongs to pisces okay so whenever there is this question is asked which of the following belongs to pisces that means which of the following is a true fish okay because pisces is only the true fish other other than that a uh, no any uh, other organism which is named with fish but uh, it uh, it is not sure that it is it we it is a true fish fish or not okay so you can see here i have took test i took this picture from 
NCRT and uh, so in the Pisces column Scolidion also known as dogfish it comes under since it comes under Pisces so it is very much sure that it will be a true fish so answer here is option A other than that jellyfish, silverfish, starfish all they the name suggests that they are fish but they are not actual Pisces okay next which one of the following groups is called amphibians of plant kingdom so very simple question the answer is given in first line of the this paragraph bryophyta these are called amphibians of plant kingdom so answer is option a next which one of the following is caused by bacterial pathogen you know that AIDS is a virus so eliminate this dengue is also by virus covid 19 already a virus then typhoid fever this is the answer because typhoid is caused by bacteria okay so you, you can find this in the chapter 13 of class 9 okay diseases chapter which one of the following is the mechanism of the action of oral contraceptive pill a question directly taken from NCRT okay you will uh, find this question tricky to answer but you will get a direct answer in your NCRT another category of contraceptive acts by changing the hormonal balance of the body so that eggs are not released and fertilization cannot occur okay and these drugs commonly need to be taken orally so that means oral pills inhibit the release of eggs this should be our answer next which one of the following plants has unisexual flowers again directly from NCRT so the flower may be unisexual okay so examples are papaya watermelon but when it contains either stamens or pistils or bisexuals and name of bisexual flowers are hibiscus mustard okay so we have to find unisexual so papaya is unisexual other than hibiscus mustard as well as sunflower are bisexual okay next a cell is unable to synthesize lipids which of its cell organelles might be defective so first we have to find which of the following cell organism help in synthesis of lipids so you can see here the ser the smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the manufacture of fat molecules or lipids that means if ser is defective the synthesis of lipids is not possible so answer should be option a ser smooth endoplasmic reticulum mutation in a virus is caused due to a change in its it's very simple option b genetic material next yeast which is used to make bread belong to which group so it belong to you can see here fungi yeast so answer is option b fungi next hyphae are okay so they are nothing but thin threads found by many fungi next which one of the following statements is not correct with regard to genetically modified organism okay so let's read the statements in this technique a gene from one organism is isolated and transferred to the cell of another organism yes this is true this technique has applications only in plants no it has application both in plants and animals and we come to our answer option b other than this both the statements are true genes for insect resistance may spread from crop plant to wild plant this is true and to produce a transgenic animal the novel genes are inserted at a very early stage of development this is also true next suppose due to an accident the delicate lining of the mouth and oesophagus of a person is injured in this case which one of the following tissue will be affected so simple squamous epithelial cells are extremely thin and flat and form a delicate lining the oesophagus and the lining of mouth are also covered by squamous epithelium so our answer should be option c squamous epithelium next which one of the following statements is correct about the cell membrane so it is made up of cellulose okay then it is a permeable structure for all substances no this is not this is not 
permeable for all substances it is flexible and enables the cell to engulf many materials yes this is true it does not allow diffusion of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide no it allows otherwise how the uh, how cell will get the energy that means how cell will get the oxygen to perform its uh, various activities okay it is made of cellular cellulose no so our answer should be option c next plants prepare glucose in the process of you can see this is a process of nothing but photosynthesis in which carbon dioxide and water act in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to form glucose so answer should be option b photosynthesis next disease rickets develops in children due to deficiency of option b vitamin d next match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below the lists okay so these are list 1 and these are list 2 so we have to match so first is pulmonary artery okay so pulmonary artery so this is pulmonary artery so here you can see here the deoxygenated blood from lungs is going to sorry from heart is going to lungs okay and after getting oxygenated it will come to come to heart and it will pump it will be pumped throughout the body okay so pulmonary artery okay, so it should be carries blood from heart to lungs yes this is true so for a it should be four uh capillaries so this is capillary okay it is connection of veins and arteries so connection of veins and arteries now let's find our answer so for a it is 4 and for b it is 3 so this is our answer okay next shoots of plant so upward movement and it can be designated to be okay so this is the root and this is the shoot okay now if shoot is showing the upward movement that means it is showing a negative geotropism or a positive phototropism so a negative phototropism no positive chemotropism no positive hydrotropic no negative geotropic yes okay so let me explain you the meaning of this so negative phototropism means anything which is going against the light okay but it goes towards light so it will be wrong then positive chemotropism means anything which goes towards chemical that means uh, something chemical so it it will be positive phototropic then positive hydrotropic which is going towards water so the roots so positive hydrotropism okay not the shoots and then negative geotropism that means the shoots are going against the earth so this is true shoots never go towards earth a it goes upward so answer is option d which one of the following statements about the process of photosynthesis is correct so first option is chemical energy is converted into light energy so no light energy should be converted into electrical energy sorry chemical energy then carbon dioxide is oxidized to form carbohydrate so you can see here reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrate not oxidation so this is also wrong water molecules split into hydrogen and oxygen so you can see here conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen so this is true then light energy is directly used to split water no first the conversion of light energy into chemical energy then splitting happens so this is also wrong so answer is option c so these two options were close and if you haven't gone through ncert you must have confused between these two options so going through ncert is very important how are evergreen plants with woody stems having naked seeds classified so very simple question naked seeds naked means gymno and seed means sperma so your answer should be gymnosperms next which one of the following tissues is known as basic packing tissue and found in xylem and phloem so we, uh, question is basically asking which is common in both xylem and phloem so you can see here it is xylem parenchyma and also here it is phloem parenchyma that means parenchyma is common in both so answer should be option b parenchyma next girth of stem of plant increases due to division of cells so girth of stem you can see the girth of stem or root increases due to lateral meristem okay 
लेटरल मेरिस्टम सो आंसर इज लेटरल मेरिस्टम ऑप्शन बी डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ सेम जीन्स आर कॉल्ड डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ सेम यू कैन सी है जीम्स विच कोड फॉर अ पेयर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग ट्रेट्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एल एल्स दैट मीन्स दे आर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सेम जीन सो डिफरेंट वेराइटी ऑफ सेम जीन आर नोन एज एल एल्स नेक्स्ट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वायरसेस यूज टू बी रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हाईली इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज कॉल्ड स्मॉल पॉक्स सो हेयर द आंसर शुड बी वेरियोला वायरस नेक्स्ट वट इज द नंबर ऑफ चैम्बर्स इन स्टोमैक ऑफ डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स लाइक कैटल सो अगेन दिस इज अ फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन सो आंसर शुड बी हेयर फोर देर आर फोर चैम्बर्स इन ऑल दिज एनिमल्स दे आर नोन एज रोमिनेंट्स ओके इंटेस्टाइनल बैक्टीरिया आर मेन सोर्स ऑफ विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग विटामिन अगेन अ फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हारमोन्स इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फीमेल सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर डायरेक्टली गिवन इन एन सी आर टी दीज चेंजेस एसोसिएटेड विथ प्यूबर्टी आर बिकॉज ऑफ सिक्रेशन ऑफ टेस्टोसिरोन इन मेल एंड ओस्ट्रोजोन इन फीमेल ओके सो इट शुड बी एस्ट्रोजन नो कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट मूवमेंट ऑफ मटेरियल्स टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ साइटोप्लाज्म एंड न्यूक्लियस इज जनरली कैरिड आउट बाय सो वन फंक्शन ऑफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इज टू सर्व एज चैनल फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ मटेरियल्स बिटवीन वेरियस रीजन्स ऑफ साइटोप्लाज्म सो योर आंसर शुड बी ऑप्शन डी एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम नेक्स्ट इन माइटोक्रोन्ड्रिया ए टी पी सिंथेसिस सिंथेसाइजिंग केमिकल रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इन ओके so you can see here there are two membranes in mitochondria the outer membrane is porous while the inner membrane is deeply folded these folds increase surface area of for atp generating chemicals okay that means the folded one that means the inner surface which is folded one helps in generating atp generating chemicals so the answer should be not outer membrane it should be inner membrane नेक्स्ट स्क्वामस एपिथीलियल सेल्स आर फाउंड इन इनर लाइनिंग ऑफ अगेन रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन इट इज ऑइसोफेगस नेक्स्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेरिस्टेमेटिक सेल्स इन टू स्पेसिफिक परमेंट टिश्यू ऑकर्स बाय प्रोसेस ऑफ सो इट ऑकर्स बाय प्रोसेस ऑफ यू कैन सी द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग ऑफ ए परमानेंट शेप साइज एंड अ फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड डिफ्रेंसिएशन differentiation leads to development of various types of permanent tissues so it is known as cell differentiation option a next the gaseous product of a process in plant is requirement for another vital process that releases energy given below are four combination of the process and product identify okay that means there is one process in this process one some one uh, product is released which is used in another process so here the answer should be option c photosynthesis and oxygen because in photosynthesis oxygen is released and this oxygen is used in respiration next in a dicot pot her vaseline or vegetable oil was applied on the upper surface of one leaf and on lower surface of another leaf uh, and vaseline or vegetable oil was not applied on control leaf The plant was deliberately not watered for several days. Which leaf will dry? Okay, so three plants were taken. Okay, and only one plant was taken, and uh, three leaves were three leaves were taken for an experiment. There was leaf one. Okay, then leaf two. Then leaf three. Okay, so vaseline was applied on top. Okay. in this vaseline will apply on the lower side and on this uh nothing was applied okay and it was not watered so it is sure that this is this will be first which is going to dry because these two plants have a layer of vaseline which is going to protect it from transpiration okay now out of these two now let's see the options of this is 
eliminated and this is also eliminated now we are left with two options so it is it is said that the lower la layer of plant leaf is having more number of stomata so more number if more number of stomata is covered so it will take more time to dry because it will stop more amount of transpiration so leaf 2 will dry up last so answer should be option b next during seed germination the plant the part of embryo which grows into root is okay so you can see here this is the radical and this is the sorry this is radical and this is plumel so radical is going to become a future root and plumel is going to become future shoot so question was asking about future root so it should be option a radical next in a typical flower germinating pollen grains pass through several parts of gynosium before they reach the ovule a list of parts of gynosium is given below in different combinations so choose the combination represent the correct sequence of pollen tube okay so you can see here the the pollen grain which come here and it will pass through this and come here up to this so it will first go through stigma then style then ovary so let's find this combination so stigma style ovary answer is option b next if blood is placed in a two percent detergent with uh, what will happen to rbc so first of all we have to find it that what is the concentration of blood okay so suppose let's take this is uh, this is blood okay and it is surrounded by detergent okay detergent so detergent is contains 2% okay of salt and uh, rbc contains less uh, it is around 0.9% or even less percent of salt that means rbc has more content of water and here it is less content of water so water will try to balance and come out from the rbc into the outer environment that means now rbc will lose water and hence it will shrink so answer should be option a next the major source of vitamins and minerals for vegetarians is so major source of vitamins and minerals is nothing but vegetables and fruits so answer is option c next which one of the following limits the number of trophic levels in a food chain so you can see here there is a loss of energy as we go from one tropic level to next this limits the number of tropic levels in food chain so decrease in available energy at high tropic level will be our answer next in a pea pure tall plant is crossed with a short plant what will be the ratio of pure tall plant to short plant in f2 generation so this is f1 generation in which a tall plant and a pure sort plant is taken and it is found that in the first generation all the plants are tall but it is not sure that whether all the plants are pure tall or not so in the next generation these plants are crossed and what it was found in f2 generation that there was three tall plants and one sort plant out of which there is only one true tall and one true sort so question was asking about pure tall and pure sort so there should be ratio of 1 is to 1 between pure tall and pure sort so answer should be option a next which one of the following statements about variations is not true so variation is minimum in asexual reproduction this is very much true all varieties in species have equal chances of survival no you can see here do all varieties in a species have equal chances of survival in environment in which they find themselves obviously not depending on the nature of variation so changes in genetic constitutions result in variation this is true variants can be selected by environmental factors this is also true so here the answer should be option b next 
वाइल स्टडिंग वेजिटेशन ऑफ एन एरिया टर्म्स लाइक पॉपुलेशन एंड कम्युनिटी आर ऑफ एन यूज विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब्स अ पॉपुलेशन सो फॉर पॉपुलेशन वी नो दैट देर इज वन एरिया एंड लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्पेसीज एंड इट शुड बी सेम ओके इफ ह्यूमन्स आर देयर सो ऑल शुड बी ह्यूमन सो वी कैन काउंट ओके इफ दे आर एलिफेंट सो ऑल शुड बी एलिफेंट इफ दे आर टाइगर सो ऑल शुड बी टाइगर ओके सो नंबर द स्पेसीज शुड बी सेम वन स्पेसीज लिविंग इन द सेम एरिया एट द सेम टाइम दिस इज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो आंसर इज शुड बी ए ओके इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ब्लड फ्लोज थ्रू अ प्रोसेस ऑफ डबल सर्कुलेशन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू इन दिस रिकॉर्ड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड रीचेज द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट फ्रॉम लंग्स ओके सो यू दिस इज हेयर दिस इज लेफ्ट साइड एंड दिस इज राइट साइड ओके डोंट कन्फ्यूज दिस विल बी लेफ्ट एंड दिस विल बी राइट नाउ यू कैन सी हेयर द हेयर द ब्लड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द लंग्स दैट मीन्स द ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द लंग्स एंड एंट्रिंग टू द हार्ट सो ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड ब्लड रीचेज द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट फ्रॉम लंग्स यस ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड इज रीचिंग द हार्ट फ्रॉम द लंग्स इन द लेफ्ट साइड टू दिस इज ट्रू ओके देन ब्लड इन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ हार्ट इज पुअर इन ऑक्सीजन नो इट इज रिच इन ऑक्सीजन सो दिस इज रॉन्ग डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द ऑफ द हार्ट इज ब्रॉड टू लंग्स फ्रॉम ऑक्सीजन नो इट्स इट इज ब्रॉड टू लंग्स फ्रॉम राइट साइड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम द राइट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट इज सेंट अराउंड द बॉडी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम राइट साइड नो फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड यू शुड बी सेंट फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट इन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म इज फूड मटेरियल्स ब्रोकन डाउन आउटसाइड द बॉडी सो इट इज ब्रोकन डाउन आउटसाइड द बॉडी इन सेपरेट ड्रॉप्स एंड फंगई इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सेपरेट ड्रॉप सो लेट्स फाइंड ऑल द ऑप्शन ऑफ फंगई सो इट इज यीस्ट इज ए फंगई मशरूम एंड ब्रेड मुल यस दिस इज द ऑप्शन विथ करेक्ट कॉम्बिनेशन अदरवाइज हेयर अमीबा इज द रॉन्ग ऑप्शन ग्रीन प्लांट्स इज अगेन रॉन्ग ओके देन दीज वॉम आर रॉन्ग सो दिस इज ऑनली वन ऑप्शन विच इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट रूपा एंड सचिन ऑब्जर्व एन एनिमल इन देयर स्कूल गार्डन रूपा कॉल इट इंसेक्ट वाइल सचिन आइडेंटिफाइड इट एज अर्थ वॉम विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कन्फर्म्स दैट इट इज एन इंसेक्ट ओके सो यू कैन सी देयर आर नंबर ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स ओके सो वन थिंग दैट इज कॉमन इन दैम आर द जॉइंटेड लेग्स ओके अदर थिंग दैट दे हैव सेगमेंटेड बॉडी यस दे हैव सेगमेंटेड बॉडी ओके बट you will also find segmented body in earthworm okay body and uh, cylindrical also it uh, earthworm it will be cylindrical and it will be bilaterally symmetrical also but if it is a insect it must have a jointed leg so answer should be option a next animals which are marine bilaterally symmetrical have a column and a notochord but never form a vertebral column are placed under which following groups so this is a green question directly from chapter 7 of class 9 diversity in living organism and uh, so this is a uh, this is a criteria of animalia kingdom in which and the protocore data okay these are the uh, ones which have all these features okay but they lack in vertebral column okay these are the, these are the organisms which are just below the uh, vertebrata um, just be for the vertebrata uh, um, vertebrate just before the organism develops into vertebrata okay so answer should be option b next what is the location of intercalary meristem in plants so you can see here this is intercalary meristem so they are intercalary meristem seen in some plants in located near the node so base of leaf or internode so answer is option a next so yes we are done with almost uh, 50 questions 
and it is almost 30 minutes so you can revise uh, your uh, biology 50 questions in 30 minutes and it is going to help you a lot in the in the coming examinations i hope uh, it was a helpful video for you so if you like the content then do share it so that it will be helpful for more number of students who are preparing for this examination and if you have any kind of doubt with regard to any of the examination whether it is cds capf or nda so you can join this telegram channel or directly message me here or in my telegram number seven double zero eight double six seven five double six okay you can also ask various doubt with regard to physical of CAPF or medical okay or interview also so thank you so much for watching PYQ Academy